Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve another application of differentiation or derivatives. So it says here, suppose that a company has estimated that the cost in dollars of producing X items is given by the function C of X equals 10,000 plus 5X plus 0.03X squared. We want to find the actual cost of producing the 501st item and we want to find the marginal cost at the production level of 500 items. Later on, I'm going to show you that these two, uh, A and B, are actually related to each other. Now, let's start with the first one. We want to find the actual cost of producing the 501st item. Take note, we're looking for a cost of a single item, and that is the 501st item. So we're not looking for the cost of producing 501 items. That's different. Okay, so if you analyze it, if we want to get the cost of the 501st item, then what should we do? Okay, so I hope this is your, we have the same idea. If you want to get the cost of producing the 501st item, then what we can do is we get the cost of producing 501 items okay so just find the cost of 501 items of so making or producing 501 items then I could also find the cost of producing 500 items so if I will find this number if I will find this number so take note they will only differ by one item and that is the 501st item so I can take the cost of producing 501 items, I'll take the cost of producing 500 items, and if I subtract them, then that will give me the cost of producing, of producing five or the 500 first item. Okay, so so what we what should we do? So C of 501. This means x will be replaced by 501. C of 500, it means X will be replaced by 500. So this is equal to 10,000 plus 5 times 501 plus 0 0.03501 squared minus if I use 500 to every X. So notice how I place a parenthesis because this is a group of expressions it's very crucial when you're dealing with subtraction and you have a group of terms usually a simple mistake can happen by just uh, taking plus or minus in the wrong way okay so we have 10,000 plus 5 so you place the 500 on the X and 0.03 500 squared so we can use a calculator to do this so this will give us 35.03 dollars so you will be spending 35.03 dollars by producing the 500 first item okay so that's the solution to letter A now if you want to find the marginal cost of or at the production level of 500 items Marginal, when we speak of marginal cost, this is basically the derivative of the cost function. So if C of X is equal to 10,000, marginal is basically the rate, the rate of change of the cost. If you remember how we solved problems before, whenever we speak of the rate of change, we get the derivative of a function. So marginal cost, the rate of change of the cost. So we have to get the derivative of the cost function. So plus 5, so this is x, and plus 0.03 x squared. So we get the first derivative. This is a constant. We know that if we get the derivative of a constant, then the derivative will be 0. So we don't have to put that anymore. Plus 5x, the derivative of 5x is 5. The derivative of 0.03 x squared, by using the rule on differentiation, so this will become 0.06 x. And once you have the derivative, this is now your marginal cost function. This is the marginal cost function, MC. Okay, so 
at the production level of 500 items, meaning when the x is equal to 500. So this is 5 plus 0 0.06 times the 500. Okay, so we can compute, and this is actually 35. 35 dollars. Okay, now I want you to make a simple observation by looking at the answer to letter A and the answer to letter B. The actual cost of producing the 500 first item is $35. The marginal cost at the production level of 500 items is equal to $35. They only differ by 0 0.03. So what is the implication of that? So take note how how long we sold for the actual cost of producing the first item. It's it's not that difficult, but you have to go through this addition and subtraction and squaring and so on. Okay. The idea behind this is the marginal cost actually estimates the cost of producing the next item. So if I know the production level, the marginal cost of the production level of 500 items, that can predict or that can actually find or estimate the cost of producing the next item and that is the 500 first item. Okay? So it's if my question is estimate the cost of producing the 500 first item, I don't have to go through this anymore. All I have to do is to get the marginal cost and then just put the, the value to so say I have the 500 level. A production level of 500 items then that answer the number that we will get here will give us an estimate in producing the next item okay so look at this this is 35.03 this is 35 the marginal cost estimates the value or the cost of producing the next item so if I say the marginal cost of the production level level of 300 items say is 42 then the actual cost of producing the 43rd uh, item will be also, uh, I mean the 500, the 500 first item will also be 42. Okay, so that's the main idea. So just take note if, if the problem is like this, then you have to do C501 and C500, and if it calls for marginal cost and perform the first derivative. Okay, so that's it.